Pumice pumice, or mark, from French mark ma, is the solid remains of grapes, olives, or other fruit after pressing for juice or oil. It contains the skins, pulp, seeds, and stems of the fruit. Grape pumice has traditionally been used to produce pumice brandy such as grappa, orujo, torcalipalinka, zavania. Today, it is mostly used as fodder, as fertilizer, or to extract bioactive compounds like polyphenols from it. History Pumice is derived from the Latin pomum, fruit and fruit tree. The English were the first to use the term pumice to refer to the byproduct of cider production. In the Middle Ages, pumice wine with a low alcohol content of 3 or 4% was widely available. This wine was made by adding water to pumice and then fermenting it. Generally, medieval wines were not fermented to dryness, consequently the pumice would retain some residual sugar after fermenting. Piquette or graspia, vin piccolo Italian, Veneto. The ancient Greeks and Romans used pumice to create a wine that later became known as piquette in France and graspia or vin piccolo in Veneto. This was an inferior wine normally given to slaves and common workers. After the wine grapes had been pressed twice, the pumice was soaked in water for a day and pressed for a third time. The resulting liquid was mixed with more water to produce a thin, weak and thirst-quenching wine. Uses Apple pumice is often used to produce pectin and can be used to make ciderkin, a weak cider, as well as white cider, a strong and colorless alcoholic drink. Grape pumice is used to produce pumice brandy and piquette. Most wine producing cultures began making some type of pumice brandy after the principles of distillation were understood. <laughs> Winemaking Pumice in winemaking differs, depending upon whether white wine or red wine is being produced. In red wine production, pumice is produced after the free-run juice the juice created before pressing by the weight of gravity is poured off, leaving behind dark blackish red debris consisting of grape skins and stems. The color of red wine is derived from skin contact during the maceration period, which sometimes includes partial fermentation. The resulting pumice is more alcoholic and tannic than pumice produced from white wine production. Pumice from the Italian wine Amarone is macerated in Valpolicella wine to produce ripasso. In white wine production, grapes are quickly pressed after crushing to avoid skin contact with pumice as a byproduct of the pressing. The resulting debris is a pale, greenish brown color and contains more residual sugars than it contains tannins and alcohol. This is the pumice normally used in brandy production. Other uses Pumice is produced in large quantities in wine production, with disposal an important environmental consideration. Some wineries use the material as fertilizer, while others are selling it to biogas companies for renewable energy. As envisioned, pumice would be introduced into anaerobic digesters that contain microorganisms that aid in its decomposition and produce methane gas that could be combusted to generate power. Specific polyphenols in red wine pumice may be beneficial for dental hygiene. A study conducted at the Eastman Dental Center found that these polyphenols interfere with Streptococcus mutans, the bacterium in the mouth that causes tooth decay. Professor Yun Ku, the lead researcher of the study, hoped as of 2008 to isolate these polyphenols to produce new mouthwashes that will help protect against cavities. Grape pumice is also used in the oil and gas industry as a lost circulation material in oil based drilling muds due to the pumice being fibrous and tannin rich. A 2004 study conducted by Erchis University in Turkey found that pumice can also act as a natural food preservative that interferes with E. coli, Salmonella and Staphylococcus bacteria. Researchers pulverized the dried pumice from the white Turkish wine grape Emir Karasi and red Kalachik Karasi grapes, this was mixed with ethyl acetate, methanol or water and exposed to 14 different types of food bacteria. All 14 bacteria were inhibited to some degree by the pumice depending on the grape variety and the concentration of the extract. 
The red wine Kalachik Karasi grape was the most effective, the researchers believed this was due to the higher concentration of polyphenols in red wine grape skins. Enocyanin, a natural red dye and food coloring agent, is produced from grape pumice. Tartrates potassium bitartrate, cream of tartar and grape polyphenols can also be manufactured from grape pumice. Apple pumice has been a traditional feed for all kinds of livestock for a long time. The use of grape pumice as livestock feed is encouraged in order to reduce the release of grape processing residues in the environment, which can lead to serious pollution. Apple pumice was used, in conjunction with whey, to flavor the first iteration of Fanta soft drink in Germany during World War II. This was done because wartime embargoes limited Coca Cola of Germany's ability to import and manufacture the American beverage. Recently, grape pumice made artificial leather started being produced. Legal regulations Canada According to the Canadian Food and Drug Regulations, pumice can be a potable alcoholic distillate or a mixture of potable alcoholic distillates obtained by distilled skin and pulp of sound ripe fruit after removes the fruit juice, wine or fruit wine. Furthermore, pumice may contain caramel, fruit, botanical substances, flavoring and flavoring preparations. Pumice may be described on its label as name of the fruit pumice or name of the fruit mark if all of the skin and pulp of the fruit used to make the pumice originate from the particular fruit. Topic: See also Aquapotza Olive mill pumice Olive pumice oil Piquette